welcome to a game for your thoughts. Today we're talking about Batman Arkham Origins. So Batman Arkham Origins is a prequel to the Arkham games and it follows a younger Batman on Christmas Eve. And on Christmas Eve, the mobster Black Mask puts out a $50 million bounty on Batman's head. So eight assassins come to Gotham and so Batman must put a stop to these assassins and Black Mask. But someone called the Joker shows up and kind of throws a kink in things. So the story of Batman Arkham Origins is one of the biggest parts of this game and I have a lot to say about it because it's actually pretty good. Making a prequel game to some of the biggest superhero games out there must have been a difficult job and I'm really glad they pulled it off because that could really make or break this game and I feel like the story really is one of the better parts of the experience. The biggest thing they handle really well is actually the Joker. Mark Hamill doesn't return to do the voice and Mark Hamill is one of the more defining things of the Joker especially in these Arkham games and the animated series and anything else he does as the Joker. But in his place they got Troy Baker and Troy Baker is a fantastic voice actor and he did a really solid job. He had really standout moments where he really made the Joker kind of his own thing. He put his own twist on the Joker. He had really specific moments that really pop out and were actually some of the more defining moments of the whole experience. The Joker didn't feel forced into the experience and it built the relationship with the Batman and the Joker that we really see build upon in the Arkham Asylum and Arkham City games. All this stuff with the Joker kind of tied along with kind of seeing Bruce Wayne figure out what Batman's all about and kind of finding his place in Gotham and what he's going to be about and kind of making sure that... Batman doesn't take over Bruce Wayne, that Bruce Wayne kind of still has a place in the world. And I thought that was a great character arc. And I thought it did a good job of showing that Bruce is really the only one that can be Batman. No one else could do it the same way that he does. And it did an awesome job of really doing a great Batman origin story. It didn't have to do the whole killing his parents and like the whole build up and like how he became Batman. I th they didn't need to do that because we all know that. And it just told a really solid story of how he meets the Joker and kind of, like I said, finding his place in Gotham and what Batman means to him. There are a few minor things that are worth noting the biggest thing is kind of I feel like the assassins aren't used to their full potential they had a lot of great characters used for these assassins but none of them really get a whole big moments to shine there's maybe like two of them Firefly and Bane that are really key to the story the rest are kind of tucked into side quests or minor moments and I want to talk about Deathstroke real quick Deathstroke could have been one of the coolest parts of this game and especially looking at like the promotional material watching the trailers and kind of just the general things about this game they put a lot of emphasis on this Deathstroke versus Batman and I feel like they kind of anti it was a very anticlimactic moment in the game because it's very early on and It's a single boss fight and then Deathstroke is just gone the rest of the game He gets like one moment at the end where you're like, what's up? He's like, hi and that's it. It's just Deathstroke I feel like was underdeveloped, underused, and I feel like he could really define this experience. But it's just very unfortunate that he was kind of a throwaway moment in the entire experience as a whole. But overall, I thought they did a really good job with the story. I definitely feel like the assassin thing was a good start, and then the Joker kind of steps in and pushes that aside. But it was unfortunate because I feel like the assassin's thing was a cool setup, but I feel like the Joker stuff was more important and awesome. And so it's kind of a weird, like, give and take kind of thing. And I definitely feel like they gave the Joker his moments, and I feel like that was what was most important. The gameplay of Arkham Origins is a mixed bag and this is where I have more kind of divided feelings. So when you look at Batman Arkham City, you see it as one of the more defining superhero and kind of open world games. It has a super solid combat system, the Predator stealth moments are great, it has a fantastic open world full of side quests and collectibles and all this great stuff. And it was fantastic. And Arkham Origins did the exact same thing. When I say that, it makes it sound like Arkham Origins is a good thing, and I think that's great. I mean, Arkham City was a very awesome and well-defined game, and Arkham Origins does the exact same thing, but maybe a little bit too much. There were so many things in Arkham Origins that felt like copy and paste things from Arkham City, and it just felt kind of lazy. Things like the glue grenade and animations and certain moments just felt too familiar. Boss fights like the Deathstroke fight took lots of cues from previous fights in the Arkham City game. Like I said, that Deathstroke fight felt very similar to the Ra's al Ghul fight in Arkham City and it just felt kind of lazy and it was unfortunate because they really could have taken this opportunity to do some really awesome things and there are some awesome boss fights in this game. I certainly think that Arkham Origins has some of the better boss fights in the entire series for sure. There are just a few moments and big key things that they really steal from Arkham City which is fine it just was kind of a bummer to because this was an opportunity to do something new something cool something different I like the phrase if it's not broke don't fix it and I think they certainly use this when making Arkham Origins because Arkham City is not broke so why fix it but I feel like Arkham Origins could have taken this opportunity to build and expand and use it in just different ways that Arkham City didn't or couldn't Origins is definitely a very underdog game and I think it's just because it feels too familiar to Arkham City it's like why would I play Origins when I could play Arkham City you know and I think Origins has a great 
story, music, and just setting, and just, it's a really awesome, well-polished game. It does have good-looking graphics, and the music, like I said, the music is great. There was a splash of technical issues with crashes and freezes, which was very unfortunate, but didn't ruin the experience. It was just definitely kind of a big bummer and a major glare on the experience as a whole. I feel like Arkham Origins is trying to be like the, he's like the younger brother who's trying to be like the cool older brother, and you know, like the older brother's like cool and is like popular and has friends, and the younger brother's like trying his very best to be like it. It just doesn't work out the best. Arkham Origins could have definitely been something very cool and unique, and I feel like with its story, it really does do that. There are certain aspects of this game that I, I really, really enjoyed. The story, particularly, I felt like did a great job of defining itself and really making this experience worth playing, but I feel like in the gameplay department, it tried too much to be like Arkham City, and it just felt lazy and from a gaming experience, and just kind of felt too familiar. I think Arkham Origins had a lot of potential to be one of the better games in this series. I just feel like it definitely gets overlooked because A, it's a prequel, prequel game, and B, it just is too familiar. And it's unfortunate, because I really, really did enjoy this game. I did not like this game. It just definitely was one of my least favorites of the series, just because it was too similar. So in the end, would I recommend you play Arkham Origins? For sure, I think it's a great game. Like I said, it's definitely an underdog and underappreciated game because it's a really solid experience. That story is just great. The graphics look pretty solid, the music is really good, the environments are cool, and the open world is interesting and fun to explore. I just, the gameplay was too familiar and I wish they would have taken more risks. And that's my biggest problem with this game and I definitely think that's why it holds it back. So if you're playing through the Arkham series games, absolutely play through them in release order. So Arkham Asylum, City, Origins, Night. I feel like that's the best way to play through these games. I wouldn't say Arkham Origins be your first starting point for the series, just I feel like Arkham Asylum or City would be a better place to start over Origins, though Origins is a good game and I think it's absolutely worth playing and it's absolutely worth your time. But like I said, I definitely feel like it's an... an, an, an uh, bleh. Like I said, it's definitely an underappreciated game and I think it deserves some more love. So kind of spread this game around a little bit more. I know it's like almost 10 years old, which is crazy, but I definitely feel like it deserves a little bit more love than what it got. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. So let me know down in the comments, what did you think about Batman Arkham Origins? That would be awesome to hear your thoughts. And while you're down there, if you want to hit like, subscribe, and the bell to get notified every time I post a new video, that would be awesome. And if you want to see more of me, I'm over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash game for your thoughts. I'm streaming there all the time, and I would love to see you there. Thanks again for watching the video. I hope you have an awesome day, and we'll catch you guys next time on A Game for Your Thoughts.